The very first thing I will do in the morning when I wake up at around 8 a.m. every day is I will spend an extraordinary amount of time cleaning my mouth. I think it's extremely important. I will brush my teeth, I will scrape my tongue, clean my tongue, and I will also floss. Guys, you have no idea how many people I've seen with brown tongues. And listen, I get we're all into some freaky stuff, but if your tongue's brown, man, I don't know what you're doing and I don't wanna know. Your tongue should be pink, so please floss your teeth, clean your tongue, and brush your teeth. The next thing I will do is I will brush my beard. It's important, especially when you have a long beard, not to have a tangled beard, not to have a bird's nest or birds growing in your beard, not to have hair that's all knotted and tied and all over the place. It's just hard to maintain and it is really a nightmare. The next thing I'll do is I'll open the light. I don't like artificial light. I, I like natural light, especially in the morning. And after I'm done opening the lights, I will make my bed. I think it's critical that people don't just start working. They actually clean their rooms before they leave or they actually make their bed before they leave because a made bed is a reflection of your mind, the clarity that you have in your mind. If you have a clean bed, a clean house, you will have a clean mind. Okay? I think a lot of people are striving for happiness nowadays, but it's much more important to strive for responsibility. And part of being responsible is making sure you have a made bed, just kind of doing the basic things, the bare minimum you need to put your room in order so then you can strive to put the world in order as you go about your daily life, being busy, doing whatever. I will then read some texts. I have a simple Nokia phone. I'm a minimalist. I don't need an insane phone. I do have another phone to use WhatsApp on, but I usually just have a Nokia to call and text people. I will then make my own little smoothie. Uh, it's a spirulina smoothie. I like drinking in the morning to get some quick boost of energy. And the first thing I will do before I even start working, before I start looking at emails, is tie my hair to get ready to work. Now, once my hair is tied, it takes a little, little while. I will read over my emails and I'll try to catch up on anything that somebody might have brought up the previous night when I wasn't working. You know, I have some coworkers. I like to work a little later. They start the day late and they end the day late. And so they might have commented on an MR or sent me an email or pinged me on Slack. And now I will take a look at what they actually have to say and respond to them. The next thing I'll do is I'll get my dev environment set up and I like listening to music a lot. So I'll get in the mood. I don't always sing to myself, but I like to do that. And for breakfast, I just down a Soylent. The next thing I do is I put on a mask when nobody's around me because I'm going to be voting for Joe Biden. And that's what Biden voters do. And the next thing I'll do is I'll actually get to work. Now, what you won't see a lot in this video is kind of the design stage of my work because when I filmed this video, I wasn't actually designing anything. I'd previously gone through the design stage of a project or two projects that I'm working on. And now what I'm doing is simply iterating on those projects. So I've submitted a merge request, I've gotten feedback for my projects, and I'm simply iterating on the, that feedback. So I am working out the kinks or the potential bugs that may exist, something that somebody might have noticed, and I am, of course, thanking them for noticing that and addressing that problem or that error before I go ahead and actually release the application. So when I usually have a design or when I usually spend time designing. I'm not staring at the computer. I simply have a pen, a paper, and a notepad, and I'm jotting things down. But because I'm iterating, like I said, on projects, what you'll see is just me staring at a screen, or not staring, typing and staring, and working on my projects. And that might take up a good three to four hours straight, just iterating, testing, writing test cases, building on my projects and addressing that merge request feedback before I ping my boss and tell him, listen, I've addressed all the comments. This is good to be merged to master. And what's that? once that's done, I will, we ha I will release it to several environments. We have several different environments at the company and either traders or myself will test on those different environments. So now I've actually addressed the comments and I have tagged and pushed a tag for, an, uh, for a application that will be deployed and released to a given environment. It's around 12.30, 12.45, and I'm going to go and grab lunch at Subway beside me. Yes, those are socks and sandals, I know, but I don't care. And so I'm going to go and eat something wholesome. Get back with my Subway sandwich, and I probably eat it in 15 to 20 minutes, just chillaxing while I'm eating. 
One of the downsides of actually working from home is that I only have one monitor or I can only view my entire desktop or my entire work desktop rather on one monitor. Now when I'm at work, I have four monitors and I can stretch applications across all four of those monitors, which isn't the same as having to RDP or VPN into my workstation with a single monitor. So it is a little less productive in that sense, but I feel like working at home in general I have much more energy, which helps my productivity. What I will do is I will get on a call with DevOps sometime if I'm releasing a new app. In this case, it just so happened to be that I was releasing a new app and I just wanted to coordinate with DevOps. But sometimes I'll get on a call with another team member, somebody that might be working on a, another project that has a shared library or somebody that might be the actual owner of this project in which I am adding a feature to. And I might discuss some of that feature. I might get their insights as to something, or I might ask for their advice as to how to best approach something. If I'm really, really stuck, that doesn't usually happen, but oftentimes I just make sure out of courtesy to tell somebody that's working on this project as well, what I have in mind or what I have in store for that project. Now in this video, you won't actually see a standup. My team is fairly independent. Uh, we have standups once a week where we discuss what we've actually been doing. So in this video, you won't see a standup, um, but that does happen in my organization. It's once a week. I know at some organizations, it's actually daily. It's even other organizations. I think it's quite nightmarish, but it's like three to five times a day. Uh, it's very rare, but I think that's just micromanaging to the extreme and it is not productive. It won't help you as a developer and it will just actually lead to a degradation in your own performance. By now it's 5 p.m., so I'm gonna finish my work day here. You think I'm serious? Oftentimes when something is building and it's quite late, I just kind of get lost. Not lost in the sense that I don't know what I'm doing, but lost in the sense that I just feel a little tired and a little less productive. So while something's building, I might just be messaging people. I might just be replying to people, replying to emails because sometimes to build something might take two to three minutes. And so in that downtime, that's what I'll be doing. Now I know two to three minutes might sound like not much for a lot of people, but it actually does feel like an eternity when you're just watching that application build and you're trying to cheer it on, hoping that by you cheering, it'll actually go faster. It's getting a little late, it's around 6 p.m. right now. And so I'm just turning on all the lights. My usual work day is around 10 to 11 hours. Uh, including lunch, of course, but it's something that I enjoy doing. So I don't feel compelled to be there at all. I can leave at five if I wanted to, but I do enjoy what I do. Now it's around seven at this point. Uh, I am feeling a little more tired, but I'm quite deep in my work. And at this stage, I'm writing a test that keeps failing. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on that's wrong. And so I'm kind of in my inquisitive mode. Yes, my productivity is lower than it is in the morning. But of course, I am dead set on figuring out why my test failing, so I will keep on going. I come back from a half an hour walk around nine, and at this point I'm really tired. So what I do is I take something called the developer's shower, where I conserve as much bodily energy as I can and only target the zones that are stinky. So what I'll do is I will shower or wash my left armpit, but only my left armpit because I'm a developer.